So an impressive win for the Sail Sharks, 40 points for five. And it could have been a bit different. There was a period right at the start of the game where Leicester could have taken the three. They didn't, they didn't. And eventually Sale turned them over. Where do you stand on the decision to take the three or not take the three? Well, I think that's uh, that's the game at the moment, isn't it? In terms of uh, teams that have a lot more positive intent and Leicester were clearly you know, riding on the back of a good second half against Gloucester and wanted to take the game to Sale. But Sale, you know, they have the meanest, uh, most frugal defence in the league and, and fair play to them. I think psychologically, after they built the pressure, after you know, ha having to put up with the pressure that Leicester were putting them under, and once they won the territorial battle, I think afterwards, psychologically, that took a lot out of Leicester and Sale grew and grew and grew. Um, in front of the biggest crowd of the season. Well, they definitely did. And two men at the heart of that were the Curry Boys or Twindaloo, as commentator Nick Mullins called them. We're going to have a look at that for this week's take. And, like, the two boys, they were just so relentless in what they did. I mean, they almost seemed to be working in tandem. They are brothers. It looked like at times there was maybe three of them on the pitch. But actually, their energy, their enthusiasm. So you see here, you've got Ben at the tail of the line-out. This is like a set play from a line-out, but... Ben at the tail, you've actually got Tom as first carrier. So Ben's ability to just get a bit wider gives Tom a bit of time to line up where he's going to run to try and get in between defenders as opposed to running into them. That little bit of momentum gets them on the front foot. This is three phases later. Both Currys together again. There they are. Tom to Ben, Ben rounds back to Tom again. So just like their work rate and their energy, it really set the tone for everything good that Sale do. We know they're a physical side, but actually that intensity that work rate as well. It epitomizes everything good that Sale does, and these boys were at the heart of it. Next clip, this is their bread and butter, so we're gonna have a look at some line-out defense. You can see both of them lined up in the back line. They bring that line speed, and here you see Tom. Tom's gonna make the first tackle. He's gonna put the Leicester attacker straight to deck, which gives Ben an opportunity to get on the ball. He doesn't, but now he sees he's got a free target at the nine. He gets pressure on Van Portfleet, doesn't quite get it. Who's at the next breakdown? It's Tom. It's just wave after wave of Curry attack, the two of them working, hustling. They don't get it, but eventually Manu Tuilangi comes up with the big hit and the turnover tackle. And lastly, again, lovely bit of line speed. You see them coming up here. There's Ben. He makes the tackle, up on his feet as well, turns over the ball, finds his brother. What's the one thing he hasn't done all game? Tried to kick it, doesn't quite come off, but you can see the theme and the narrative. And Sail Sharks, in your opinion, looking pretty good for the top four? Yeah, they have done since the start of the season. Topsy, them and Saracens uh, are still favoured for the top two. <laughs>